Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for the fifth update, I think, of the Rolling 10 Project Pan that I'm doing. I will leave a playlist down below if you want to check out all the other um, updates. And let's get into it. Uh, these are the two eyeliners that I have in the project. The first one is Wet n Wild Copper. Um, very nice, usable, everyday type of eyeliner. And then this is just like a basic black eyeliner by Avon. So for both of these, the goal is to get these halfway down from when I brought them into the project, which was last year. So last year I didn't do a rolling tent project. I did just like a normal project band. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to hold up the pictures because me trying to hold this book up, there's too much of a glare and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I will put up pictures and you can see like how far it came down for Wet n Wild Copper. I used Copper 10 times since the last update. So that one's coming along and you can see like where the goal is. And for the black eyeliner, that's also coming along like the same kind of predictable amount. So that I used five times. And that one is a little bit creamier than the copper one, so it's a lot easier to make progress on the black eyeliner. So that's why I used it less times, but you can see like almost the same amount of progress. I don't know when the heck I'd ever finish these, but glad that was never the goal because we'd be talking about these for the next like three years. The next uh, product is an eyeshadow from the Tartlet in Bloom palette. And I chose one shadow in this palette to use. It was flower child and my goal was to hit pan and i did hit pan there it is right there super excited to have pan in another shadow um that was kind of the goal this year was to get pan in most of my palettes we had to start doing that um so yeah that was a really really good eyeshadow for me to get pan on because i was able to use it almost every single day because it's a neutral shade that i can just uh use over my primer to set it down and yeah, so I used that 23 times since the last update, uh, 65 times total while it was in the project to hit pan. So super excited about doing that and we can roll that one out. So that's one product I get to pull in. Uh, the next product was the Sonia Casio Contour Stick, which I am trying to finish. And this is where we are now. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, it looks like this right now. And I usually hold it up to a Z palette so you can see visual progress and I did not get a chance to look at it before see like how far it came down from last time so you'll be able to see it when I show you the pictures I just didn't get a chance to look at it beforehand and yeah it is really low now like it's pretty much like almost flat to the container itself so I definitely see this finishing up uh, relatively soon. I don't want to speak too soon on that because I know how long it can take to use up cream products. But I still definitely have more that I can get out of this for sure, but the fact that it's this low is pretty crazy and I'm pretty excited that it's as low as it is now. I remember when it was actually much higher. Um, wasn't too long ago actually, but uh, yeah, so while I won't be bold enough to say like this is almost finished because it's not, I am really, really happy with how low it is now. So that's cool. And we'll continue using it. And I don't know if I said it, but I used that 15 times since the last update. Now we have the uh, Iconic Lights highlighter. That's from this palette right here. I wanted to hit pan on this highlighter right here. And I hit pan on this, I keep wanting to say eyeshadow, this highlighter. Since the last update, I used it 12 times and it was 61 times total that I used it since it was in this project. Again, I wanna see more pans in my palettes and it was a great highlighter. It was a low light type of highlight. So it wasn't very like obvious on your face. So it was very usable for every day. So yeah, I'm super excited. Another one I get to roll out. We have my Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, which I am trying to finish. I am now down to this blue line right here. The last time was just like a little bit above that. I think that's gonna be the last time I try to draw a line because now it's just getting silly because <laughs> the powder does not lay flat in a straight line anymore. Plus there's so little of it left. Um, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but there really isn't a whole lot left in here. Like when I shake it out, I really have to like force it to come out. So I can tell that there's not a lot left in here. So I'm super excited. I was saying the last update, I expect this to be done by the fall. Um, but now I'm thinking by the summer for sure, at some point this is going to be finished because like I said, there's just like not a ton in here. And I use this every time I wear makeup for the most part. So I'm super excited about that because I've had this forever and it's been in this project for quite some time. I want to say it's been in Project Pans since last year, 
I think. But it's a good powder. I, do, I did enjoy it. I think it's discontinued now, that whole like Peach Perfect line. I'm not sure, but it was a decent powder. But I also have like five other powders I want to like get through and those are going to take forever. Okay, next we have the Revolution Bronzer. So we're, let's go back to this palette again. So this one came in last month as a random number generated product out of a whole collection. And I ended up getting the first bronzer in this palette. So that would be this one. And my goal was to use this 10 times, which I did, that wasn't really hard to do. So I used that 10 times and it was fine. It was good to have like something else to use uh, in addition to the contour stick. So, and it was a powder, so it worked out, even though I wasn't that excited about using it. It is a little bit, warmer of a contour shade so you could use it as a contour or a bronzer i mean i i use it as a contour i don't i kind i kind of interchange how i use bronzers and contours even though i know like warmer colors are usually for bronzing but i don't really care so <laughs> yeah um use it 10 times so i can roll that one out it's an okay bronzer it does the job my next product is the dallas blush and my goal is to use it 40 times so here it is this is by benefit right the old packaging and yeah, I've used it 27 times out of the 40, so this is still in the project, and that's totally fine. I only have 13 more uses left to go. I have been really enjoying this blush. It's very easy for me to use on a daily basis. It's like not too much. Um, it's really goof proof in my opinion for like my skin tone. Like it's hard for me to go overboard with this because it's a little bit more muted. Um, so I really like it. Yeah, it's one of those blushes that I was always conflicted about and I would always pull it into projects and not be sure. But after using it like in this project, I feel like this is one of the blushes I feel confident keeping in my collection for a while longer um, because it is so usable. And I really like the description on the back. For a natural fresh glow, lightly sweep this dusty sunset plum powder across your cheekbones and chin or anywhere you want looks to linger. I think that's like a really good description. I've never read that actual description ever since having this blush. And when I actually took the time to look at it and pay attention to what it said, I'm like, that actually is kind of accurate. Like it's definitely a sunset plum powder. It does look natural on me. So, okay, anyway, <laughs> enough time talking about that. Next is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Abu Dhabi. This, my goal is to finish this lipstick. Um, and it's definitely not finished yet. I used this six times total since the last update. So, uh, I don't really know. There's, I don't have like a scale to measure how much progress I've made on it, like in grams or anything, but like, there's definitely still a bit on the wand and on the brush. And I'm pretty sure if I try, uh, or not even have to try that hard, I can still get product out of this. So there's definitely still a bit to go. The stopper is not in this anymore, so I did take that out a while ago. But these usually have a lot of product in them, so I'm not surprised that I'm like, I still have a bit left in here. So this is going to be in for a couple more months, I think. And I don't, I'm okay with that. It's a decent lip product. The color works. It's very, like, neutral, as you can see. Then we have the sample of the Tarte's birthday suit that I got free, like, for a birthday gift. I mean, how Sephora does those. I use this, like six more times since the last update and it looks pretty empty but i can still get a little bit off the tip there for sure and it doesn't take a lot of pigment to get it to work like or to get it to show up at least yeah so it is pretty empty but i can still use it i'm not gonna try to like scoop it out from the bottom because look how short this thing is and it's not worth it i mean it, there's nothing on the bottom really it's more so on the walls going all the way down but like i'm not gonna put that much effort into like getting it completely bare around the wall because look how short this is. Like it's not gonna reach that far. And I've had this forever and I think it's time to move on to something new um, at some point soon. So yeah, right now I'm not gonna consider it done. I'm still gonna try to get as much more use out of it as I can and go from there. But uh, I don't see this lasting Definitely not past this year. It's pretty empty. I wouldn't even say it's, it's gonna last the next three months. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, it's a decent color though. I like it. It's just not a great one to wear by itself on my skin tone. Yeah, unless I have a smoky eye or I'll have to mix it with something type of a thing. So yeah, because I'm rolling out the Flower Child eyeshadow, the Iconic Lights highlighter and the Revolution bronzer, that leaves room for three products. 
I did use the number generator um, and I did that before I started filming just to save a little bit of time. I definitely knew I wanted an eyeshadow in this. So I just stuck with the one eyeshadow category for the first one. And I ended up getting this really pretty purple color by Too Faced. This was from a collection in 2019, I wanna say it was like a winter collection. I think it was best year ever and it came with like three palettes. There's only three shadows left that I saved from that whole collection and it looks like this. So I think this is super pretty. Um, normally I would pick a shade like this fall winter, but I still think it's pretty enough and wearable enough to wear this time of year. So I set the goal for that shadow to be 10 times. I think that'll be pretty good for that. Um, very pretty though. I'm really excited to use that 10 times and make some looks with it and then i decided to randomly generate from my whole collection because i couldn't make up my mind um what else i wanted to use i have no particular like calling to use anything i randomly generated a category and then i randomly generated from that category randomly generated the category of bronzer and then i uh, ended up picking number five, which was the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, which you've probably seen a bunch if you've followed any of my videos. Um, yeah, so this one I am going to try to use 10 times as well. And I'm so happy it picked this one out because this is usually a very good summer bronzer for me. So super excited. I'm going to use this 10 times. And to be honest with you, um, I do include these four bronzers in my bronzer category. I think I have like 10, including these four, but I did not include these four in the random number generator because I'm tired of using this palette right now. So full disclosure, did not include these four in that random generation of bronzers, but I'm okay with that because I've used that palette enough between the highlighters and then that one bronzer. I'm like sick of looking at it. So I'm actually really excited it pulled this one out. And then for my last product, so first I randomly generated the category and I got eyeliners and then from there i randomly generated this eyeliner so this was eyeliner number five and this is actually perfect for summer as well so i was really excited about that um this is covet by urban decay this is a color that i whip out this time of the year because i think it's such a pretty like spring summer eyeliner it just really works nicely i don't usually rim my entire eye with this color because uh, it can look a little too much i usually just look do the top or just the bottom and use like a more neutral color on the opposite so i'm really excited i put 15 times for this because you know i can get a lot of use out of it i might even go longer than that because it's summer and if i'm using it in the summer i want to get as much use out of it as possible but i also want flexibility to not use it if i don't feel like it so i think 15 is a good number i didn't think i was going to get that lucky picking out something that uh was as in season as this is so that works out really well so cool. Um, I'm super excited about the things I rolled in. I think they'll all work really nicely over the next like month or two or however long it takes before I hit my goals on those. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this update. And again, I'll link that playlist down below of all of the videos I've made thus far for this year's project. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.